Hey you guys, PJD here. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be the start of the skincare series. Just kind of showing you the things that I've been working with and um, some I've been using for quite some time. Others are uh, new as a part of my collection, but I have started using them. So let's just jump right in. First, let me just start with things that I use to wash my face. So either my 10 digits right but if I'm not using just my hands alone I'll use one of these three devices I'll do it in the order in which I purchased them so the Clarisonic goes um way back <laughs> this is like the old model the reason I don't use this as often and I did kind of a video on this versus one of the other tools that I'm going to show you but the reason I don't use this as often is because since uh this is an older model it now it detaches. I'm just showing you that you can replace the brushes. But I'm sure you already know that Clarisonic has been around since forever. Well, a long time. Um, but anyway, this one, because it's older, I feel that I, not I feel, I know that I have to charge it more frequently than I've had to in the past because it's just getting older. Um, will I purchase another Clarisonic? No. Um, and I'll show you why in a second. But that's one device that I could potentially use in the morning if it's charged up. The other um, is this one by Forio. And this is not the larger size one that you can get. This is just kind of the medium size one. And they also have like a play one that's 39 bucks. Not sure at all how effective that one is, but it's silicone based. Very nice. Um, this side has larger um, little nodules and this one has like a bunch of really, really tiny ones. And this has been great for cleansing my skin. I love it. It gives you a little pulse as well. Let's you know when you should move to the next section of your face. I generally ignore the pulses and just move it around as I see fit. But that's another device. And this one literally Literally charge it twice a year. It, this is what goes on vacation with me, like this. Um, I did travel. Um, I'm thinking the last time I did travel, I think I took. Oh yeah, I did in October. I took this device. Now, never mind that this is yellow. It's not dirty. It's it's from the turmeric that you'll see in another product in a second. But anyway, um, because turmeric can stain things and give it that yellow hue. And I do have replacement uh, brushes for this as well. But I know it's not dirty. It's just the turmeric. So I'm not going to replace it just yet. Um, but maybe I should. Who knows? But anyway, um, this is from Ulta. It's the $49 one. They have two cleansing brushes. This one has three speeds, a low, a medium, and the high. The high is supposed to be like for deep cleansing. And I'm just going to put it right now. One, two, three. You can hear this. Right. And you really feel it on your skin and it really feels like <clears throat> it's getting right into your pores. And because Ulta has like their 20% off sale quite often, I actually purchased this when I had the 20% off. I got it. I started using this in the summer and I'm telling you, I really, really like it. So considering that this was only 49 bucks plus I had the 20% off, um, that's why I would not purchase a Clarisonic again because I would just roll with this one. Even if it doesn't last as many years as I've had my Clarisonic for 49 nine bucks or less than with the 20% off I'm really happy with this one my skin feels really good with it and it almost has I don't want to say a glow but it's like it, it exfoliates it well I feel like and, and that's not reliant on the cleanser that I'm using I'm just talking about how its bristles work and they have not only um this type of bristle or because this is the normal brush that they have but they also have a silicone one which I did purchase but I haven't used it um yet so it's still in the box still um, unused but this is just the normal brush which has I think a normal level of abrasiveness it's normal it's not a brush for sensitive skin um, according to their you know instructions or what Ulta would recommend but I think it's really really nice and of course if you have sensitive skin but want a bit more abrasiveness than you would get from like a sensitive brush then I would suggest just using this normal one on a very low speed but hey I'm no dermatologist so don't listen to me <laughs> maybe you want to buy the one for sensitive skin but I really like that cleansing brush from Ulta now let's get into actual cleansers um and this video in particular is going to be focused on cleansers because there's so many things in the skincare series that I kind of want to talk about or show you that um, I can't put them all in one video. It's going to be like too much. So this one I've spoken about in the past, Neogen, and I said that I would not repurchase it, and I won't. Um, not because it's bad. I, I got this through Sephora. It's just that it's so gentle that I feel like for paying this price tag, if I recall, and I'll have the price down below, it's like 20-something bucks, but you could get something, which I'll show you in a second, on a drugstore level, which gives me 
the same if no better level of feeling like my skin has been really cleansed with a lower price tag now the ingredients were great this is the green tea one and as you can see it has like that little green tea solution this will never be used up um <laughs> when you purchase it because uh, you know it just has this kind of um what do you call it like a, a barrier in between this section and the rest of the bottle so as you can see I have very very little left in here so probably one more pump and this whole thing is finished but because it was just so gentle and again if you're a person with really sensitive skin maybe this is for you and sorry I wasn't showing you the label but this is from the company Neogen I have tried quite a few things from the brand and there are some things that I, I definitely uh, appreciate but this particular cleanser not for me they do have one that I believe is wine based like it has wine in it or, or something um, or grape extract I'm sure it's something more like that but uh, it's like wine in color and I think they say it's the wine something something I haven't tried that one but I'm eager to try that one so that's kind of on my list and this is 100% naturally brewed soothing bio cleanser so you know if you're looking for and I don't know if you're going to be able to see ingredients on here um, actually it was on the box so it wasn't it wasn't actually on this um yeah on this packaging but you can look at the ingredients on this Sephora site all nice stuff everything that I'm going to show you here by way of cleansers they're all paraben free things so don't worry about any of that but yeah oh and it says here <sighs> see why reading is fundamental it says for sensitive skin so yeah I think I have when it comes to uh my skin sensitivity level oh is that going to focus at all but anyway right there is where it says for sensitive skin but anyhow I feel like um my skin can handle a good amount of stuff so sorry that wasn't coming into focus but anyway it says for sensitive skin anyhow um I feel like my skin there we go I feel like my skin can handle quite a bit so that's why when things are designed for sensitive skin they're a little too light for me and they don't give me the level of cleansing that I hope now again after I use that my skin does feel clean it's just it just feels like it needs something extra like it could be a bit cleaner it doesn't remove absolutely everything because there are times when I do use a toner not always and um you know okay but anyway we'll talk about toners in a separate video but um I don't always use toners but when I do sometimes you'll use them and you'll see like some excess dirt and everything that the cleanser did not get off is still there because it's like on the cotton pad and that is one where I would see more than I would with some of the other cleansers that I'm about to show you and that for me is an indication that it hasn't gone deep enough um uh, to into my skin to really extract the dirt because there was so much more um that a different cleanser could have taken off so that's why that may be a little too sensitive for me but um a little too light for me not I, I kind of need a more heavy duty cleanser but it's fine it's fine it gets you feeling clean it's just not as clean as I'd like to be another one along that same realm but this one gives me better cleansing properties than um the one I just showed you from the ocean this is from the bliss spa company it's the triple oxygen instant energizing cleansing foam and it goes from liquid because you can see a little bit left in here um and it turns into a foam now I'm going to tell you right now this thing I felt like this bottle was never going to end and I have a very little bit I like to use every last drop of my product but it has a very tiny bit of liquid right here but let me just try and show you okay boom there we go and and look and so I still have all that liquid left so yeah probably one and a half pumps is enough for me to do my face uh, but as you can see it's like a, a foaming cleanser you get it with water and Oh, I do have something to wipe that off. Sorry. Um, so you mix it with water and it gets my skin clean, cleaner than the Neogen one, but not, um, you know, still for those who have sensitive skin, I think that may be a nice one for you. It is a bit stronger than the Neogen one. So, you know, be careful, read the ingredients, see if that works for you. The ingredients are listed on here. Then I will show you. Yes, um, it has glycerin in here. I know some people don't even or they have uh, maybe I should say not sensitivities but they may not like glycerin um for their skin but you know there are other ingredients and other properties in here that you may appreciate having um on here citric acid duh, 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 soy protein so yeah it has aloe leaf juice in here so not a bad thing for skincare it's nice it's just 
you know, I like amazing. I want you to cleanse my skin and for me to remember that you are a cleanser in my collection and I go to you with, you know, all the intention in the world. Not that I just stumble upon you and I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot I had this. No, I want to remember you. Be memorable. Be a memorable cleanser and you're good in my book. So this one was not memorable uh, enough for me. This was just one that I'm like, oh yeah, I have a few more pumps. Let me get rid of this, not buying it again. <laughs> but it was okay. It was okay. Um... Yeah, that was all I kind of wanted to say about that one. Um, mm, this one is on the will not purchase list. I found quite a few things from First Aid Beauty and this has come from Sephora. And I really got this because it was, I love, side note, how Sephora has now been doing this, like the weekly wow or having things on like a special sale. They're trying to come for Ulta a little bit. Um, but, you know, still not there yet. And their rewards program needs some more work because Ulta's is definitely better. But anyhow, um, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Um, and Ulta has really stepped up their game on their shipping. But anywho, that's not what this video was about. So there was one day when Sephora had this cleanser for 12 bucks. So I decided, why not? Paraben free, sulfate free. Let me give it a go. But this is another one that I feel, and it says it removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. Now, just by the fact that it says surface oils, that kind of already let me know but it was 12 bucks so I want to try it anyway that if you're removing just what's on the surface you're not like a deep cleansing product and it's not um for me this is uh, even I would even say the Neosian one <laughs> is stronger than this one and this one is not a foam like the first two that I've shown you those are both liquid to foams this is more of a cream product there we go you know traditional kind of cream cleanser that's what it looks like Sorry if that's not close enough. Mix it with water and, you know, you wash your face. But it just feels so super gentle, super gentle. So I'm just, I'm like about here with it. I'm just ready to like finish this up. Sometimes I actually combine it with other cleansers just because I, I just want this gone. It's not, you know, I used it to a point just to see if this was actually, you know, really good. Was I not giving it a fair shot? But I used so much that I wasn't going to like hand it off and give it to someone else. So I'm just going to finish it, use it, and know that I'm not going to buy it again. It says antioxidant fab. Okay. So it has some uh, antioxidant uh, properties in here, supposedly. It also has aloe vera in here, um, aloe vera uh, extract, licorice extract, and uh, I'll let you see the ingredients list right here from the bottom but again of course all ingredients also available on the Sephora site so you can definitely check that stuff out too but it's right there at the bottom and these are all paraben free um, products as I mentioned previously but yeah this one is uh, super gentle so won't be getting that again I'm going to show you something right now drugstore level and even if you're a person who you're not concerned with like um, aging or any of those effects I'm going to say that don't shy away from these like some of these anti-aging cleansers because some of them can be really really good and one that I've used um from the drugstore that I like and there, here's a full bottle that I haven't even used yet just to show you it's real I really actually do like it um it's from Aveeno it's called Absolutely Ageless and it has antioxidants in here and this particular one they're showing you it's a blackberry so it has blackberry extract in here that's supposed to give you the antioxidant uh, properties really fight free radicals keep your skin in good condition I had done a video way back on free radicals whatever again I'm no der dermatologist I'm just kind of sharing with you things that you know have been of interest to me over the years and I'll show you the ingredient list the, their font is kind of I don't know if it's gonna come out so well but we'll see now the blackberry extract is not at the bottom bottom of the list but it's toward the bottom um you have water and glycerin as the first two ingredients the ingredient list is going to be here once that comes into focus then you'll see it but um the thing about this cleanser that I really appreciate, sorry, I'll come a little closer so you can see that. Okay, so the thing that I really appreciate about this cleanser is it does not leave my face feeling dried out and like super um, dry basically after I finish using it. All right. So it says it has blackberry extract. It removes 99% of skin aging impurities to reveal younger, healthier looking skin. Now I'm not going to say after using this that my skin looks younger. I'm just going to say that it hasn't dried it out to the point where you know sometimes some things can just kind of suck the life out of your skin and this is not a life-sucking product that's why I like it the only thing about this product and this is $9.99 by the way I got this at Target but of course it's a vino so you can find it at CVS and many other uh, stores but I had just been purchasing it at Target but anyhow the only thing about this particular product is when I smell it and the other two like are almost almost scentless the the bliss one 
uh, they think all their things are like spa quality, but that, you know, I guess it mm, kind of has like a little, mm, you may feel like you're in a spa, the bliss one. The Neogen one, not sh any strong scent. And again, that makes sense because it's designed for sensitive skin. This one too, like, it smells like soap. I mean, you know, no nothing special here. This one, there are times when I use it and it smells like it has some sort of fruit something scent in there. And there are other times when it literally smells like stale urine. And I don't really understand what the deal is, but um, <laughs> the scent doesn't linger. So I will continue to use it because I like the effects of it. After I pat the water off my face, or sometimes I allow my face to air dry, I don't feel like my face is like taut, like I just had like a Botox treatment or something. It is not like suffocating my face or, or sucking the life out of my face rather. Um, so I, I do like this product. So even though it occasionally smells like stale urine to me, I am okay with that. <laughs> that sounds really gross, but anywho, so that's that. This one that fell, one sec, is something I got from Sephora, and I'm at the tail end of it. It was a really, really inexpensive one. This is their coconut cleanser. You can see the picture of the coconut right there. I'm going to tell you, this cleanser, for real, for real, feels like it just leaves residue behind. Like, it feels like it leaves a greasy feeling. If you are a person with this and one other thing I'm going to show you, too. If you are a super, super, super dry skin person and you want something that kind of leaves like a, I don't want to say a grease, but like a oily kind of thing behind, then this may be one that you're interested in. And again, because it was from Sephora and this is Sephora brand, super inexpensive. I feel like I paid, I definitely paid under $10 for this. I feel like it was six. Uh, and it is a small too, but it says for face and eyes. Um, I thought though that it was really good at removing mascara and I don't wear waterproof mascara. I have like one or two tubes of it, but those were things that I bought accidentally <laughs> as the waterproof version. But typically I do not purchase waterproof mascara. So this one I noticed was actually really good at removing my non-waterproof mascara from my eyes. But for the rest of my face, I don't like it because I feel like it leaves stuff behind. And I am combination skin, but oily in the T-zone. So I don't, very oily, um, especially in the T-zone. So I don't need anything extra to be leaving layers of like greasy kind of film on my face don't need it um so it's great that it removes the eye makeup and I'll probably use it for that just to kind of rub it around my eyes and and that's it I'll not I will not repurchase this again so again sorry if I didn't have this here before but it's the cleansing cream some from Sephora doesn't really smell like coconut to me but they attempted I guess I don't really like the scent but um <laughs> Um, yeah, and so that was a cleanser, another type of cream-based cleanser, and that was from Sephora. Now, since I'm on that road, let me just talk to you about this one because it's similar um, when I was referencing just before about leaving kind of a film behind. This is from Glam Glow, and I bought this. I feel like they did this around Black Friday, was it? No. Anyway, at some point, they released this product. I was in the store. I saw it, and I said, ooh, I'm going to buy it. I think it was during the time they had the 20% off sale from um, Sephora. So I think that's when I first got this. But anyway, it says it's a hydrating jelly balm cleanser. Yeah, does that show up? Yep, it does. Okay, good. So the thing about this, first, let me just, I have to start with the scent on this one. It smells like an orange creamsicle that you would eat. So I like the scent, but you know, again, once with cleansers, you wash it off. It's not like the scent generally lingers with most cleansers. So the same is true here. It's gone once you wash it off, but it smells delightful. At removing makeup, I thought it was good. Scale of 1 to 10, 10 being like the best makeup remover in life. I thought this was um, probably at a 7. Yeah, maybe at a 7. But the thing about it is, and I'm going to show you right now, and it is a black cleanser. There we go. Just put a little there. And it does feel like a, like a jelly-based kind of thing. There it is. Um, oh, let me see if you can even see it from here. So I'm just rubbing it in. See how it's like getting shiny? Okay, so I know... Typically, you would be washing this off with water, but let me take this off with, okay, even as I'm doing it with a napkin, see how it leaves that shine behind, but the shine you're seeing, and I definitely don't mind a glow and a shine, but what I'm feeling here, it feels like an oil is still there, that kind of thing. So because I am combination skin, but oily, on the, more on the oily side, I don't need anything like that to be left behind. Not that I want something to leave my skin stripped. I don't want that, but I just don't need anything extra left behind, unless it's just like the feeling of moisture. Or, you know what I mean? So uh, let me just show you the ingredient list here. And this one, um, 
triglyceride, da da da. Anyway, um, let me just show you that ingredient list right here. And this is in the $30 range. So will I be purchasing? Yeah, there you can see it. Um, boom, boom, boom. Sunflower seed oil. Look at that. Pretty close to the top of the list. That's like what the third or fourth ingredient. So yeah, that kind of explains having that mm, slightly oily feeling <laughs> left behind. And again, if you're a super dry skin person, you may really, really appreciate this type of cleanser smells delicious um, and it does remove makeup um, relatively well so that's all cool and it says face makeup removal but it is a cleanser so you wash your face with it and um, you know I thought it was good not great again because I don't need that extra kind of film left behind but it smells delicious now one that doesn't smell delicious but I think I may repurchase this one also from Glam Glow. Now, you may already be familiar with the Glam Glow masks. And the one that's in the white jar, that one is supposed to be, you know, really complemented by this cleanser, also in the white tube. Now, this says right on here, Triple Charcoal Complex. Maybe you can see that. I'm not sure. Now, I'm going to tell you, when you wash your face with this, at least for me, I feel like this gives me a deep down, really cleansed feeling. My face feels super clean. Far cleaner than any of the other things that I've shown you thus far. I feel like that. Um, um, this one actually, the Aveeno one, leaves my face feeling really clean too. Um, but this one leaves my face feeling super clean. And now this could be a little trickery from the makeup of the skincare world, but it does have a eucalyptus oil in here and peppermint oil. And I will tell you that those oils being included in here, you kind of feel the cooling effect when you're washing it off. I do dig that. Um, and let me, it definitely doesn't have like a sweet <laughs> scent. It's kind of gray and color there we go I'll tell you that the glam glow one that I showed you previously is 4.9 ounces this one you get a straight five ounces right so you get um, slightly more product here and this is what the cleanser is like again similar to the appearance of the clay mask from uh, or the mask from glam glow that comes in the white jar so similar even now me just putting that on my hand I can just feel as the cool air is or the air is kind of hitting it, it gives that cooling feeling like peppermint, right? So some people may not like that. I actually appreciate it. But moving beyond that, I feel like my skin is super clean after I use this. Now, um, again, and it's not leaving anything behind, no film, no oily residue. Boom, my face just feels super clean. And then it has a cool feeling of like that peppermint that's almost left behind not oily just the feeling of like when cool water imagine you have a peppermint in your mouth and then you drink cold water that feeling is kind of on your face to a lesser degree but it's there so I do like this but also here's more of the proof in the pudding the times when I do use like a, a toner or follow up with something to remove you know see if there's any excess dirt and I know toners are real and again we'll talk about that in a separate video to like kind of bring the balance back to your face but many products today are appropriately balanced um so pH balance so and I used to have these pH strips to test but anyway that's neither here nor there but anyhow um so you don't always need a toner and I know you know some people feel they're not necessary I'm pretty much one who almost feels that they're not necessary either if you have the right cleanser you may not need it but sometimes I do like to use a toner if you have the right one that you just rub it over your face with a cotton pad and you'll see if there's any excess dirt of the majority of these things right here once I use this one it's barely, barely, my best toner is barely pulling or finding any dirt. So that's what also makes me feel like this one really cleanses my skin deep down. And I love that. So again, this is called the Super Cleanse. And it's a cream to foam cleanse, cleanser. And I feel like you just need a little bit of it. I just do like a small little dollop, slightly more than what I showed you in the sample on my hand. And I'm able to rub that all over my whole face. In terms of removing makeup, um, and again, I'm not wearing waterproof makeup. I feel like it does an okay job at that. But I, I always like to use a makeup remover first and then follow up with my cleanser. But it's just, you know, testing it out to see how it works with removing makeup. Um, I feel like then you would have more um, stuff coming off on your cotton pad if you're using a toner or something else afterwards so it's not as good as the black glam glow one that I showed you in terms of removing makeup and maybe because this the oil is higher up on the list on that one I'm, I'm not sure but um 
but as in terms of cleansing your skin once you have all that makeup off um or even if you have a little bit still left behind i'm just saying don't come like full face and expect to use a cotton pad after and nothing will come off something probably will so <laughs> um but uh if you have your face you know pretty much makeup free and then use this i think you're gonna have really nice results at least i do so even though this is in the 30 dollar range and i kind of like roll my eyes at spending 30 dollars for a facial cleanser but i like it I like it. So I could see myself repurchasing this product. I didn't show you the ingredients on this one, right? But I know we did briefly talk about it. Yeah, so it has, as I mentioned, the peppermint oil. It has licorice root in here. You'll see some of the same kind of ingredients in some of the Glam Glow products. Um, but it has... Um, duh, 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 duh. Anyway, I'll show you the back. <laughs> so you can... Oh, oh, with this like kind of print, you may not be able to see it. Also, the reflective properties on this box so you may want to check that on the Sephora side uh let me give it a old college try one more time let's see yeah no the, oh yeah yeah the, ooh, there we go thank you camera for coming through so there we go so you see the peppermint oil right here and I know I recall seeing eucalyptus oil on here but mm, yeah I think it's on there but anyway um licorice root extract I thought I had why do I think it had eucalyptus? Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, I see eucalyptus right there. Oh, boom. It is in there. Okay. So, anyhow, um, I really like this one. So, uh, Glam Glow may suck me into spending 30-something bucks for a cleanser. Another cleanser that I did not spend 30-something bucks for is from Drunk Elephant. And you guys know that I've mentioned some things uh, from Drunk Elephant in the past. And I do like Drunk Elephant. Look at the time already. So during the like Black Friday when they have like all, not Black Friday, but during that kind of November, December time when they have like all these gift sets at Sephora, I got this one from Junk Elephant because I was really eager. It has two things in here. It has their jelly cleanser, which costs about, I think, 36 or so dollars. Um, so it has a small version of it here and it has um, this little cream whip lotion that I have not been using consistently. So I am not you know, in a position to really say what the long-term effects of using this will be because I haven't been using it consistently. But I can tell you I've used it a couple of times at night and it's a, a thick, nice... I know we're not talking about creams right now, right? We're on cleansers, but um, it's cool because I, I may not bring this back to talk about it again later because I thought it was nice but not great enough that lotion for me to say, oh, I need to run out and buy like the full size of this whipped cream. There are other nighttime lotions that I've used that are just fine and less expensive but anyway back to this cleanser first of all it has a little twisty top like twist and then it's open into clear cleanser let me just put a little bit out like you know regular kind of cleanser right there the scent I don't remember a scent uh, now I have too many things on my hands so I can't really tell if it's but anyway it's no like um negative scent I don't remember anything negative about this scent because now too many things are on this hand so I can't oh I can put it over here how about that I'm um, sorry <laughs> I'm not trying to waste your time but too many too many scents are mingling now so sorry about that but um yeah it doesn't have any like strong scent that's standing out to me right now but anyhow this cleanser I felt was nice I feel like it cleansed my skin and um Again, using the cotton pad because I do like to test it this way afterwards. I did get some, you know, other dirt that still came off on the cotton pad afterwards. Not tons. Um, and this is when I'm using it with both my hands. And I've tried it also with um, using one of those devices to wash my face as well. Um, so sometimes I feel like these devices help it to go a bit more uh, further into your skin. A little more deep. A little it gives you a bit of a deeper cleanse when you use some of these uh, products so that you will get less on the cotton pad, less dirt uh, coming off on the cotton pad. But, you know, with this, I had not like, oh, oh my gosh, look how much dirt. I, th I think it cleansed my skin well. Um, it's nice, but not, thir if I recall, the price was $36. Not $36 worth of nice. So that's why I won't be buying this. Um, and it says cantaloupe uh, on it. Okay. Maybe it has cantaloupe in it. I'm not sure because it's a tiny thing. And... I guess you would have to look on the website for the ingredients, but it was fine. Again, a nice cleanser, but I wasn't blown away by it to spend 36 bucks on it. For this one, perhaps. <laughs> I, yeah, I think I'll be repurchasing that one. Another cleanser, especially if you want to keep it down in terms of the price. This is from The Body Shop. I was really shocked that The Body Shop um, 
would really have anything that I would care about <laughs> for my skin. But this is from their Vitamin C line. And also they have, a, oh, I'll talk about the moisturizer later. Let me just focus. The print on here is just crazy, crazy small. But it's from their Vitamin C line. Let's see if you'll be able to see the ingredients here at all. Oh, look at that. Trying to come through. Okay, so anyway. So here are the ingredients for this one. Again, another paraben-free thing. It has little exfoliating beads in here, which I am at the very, very end of this particular product. So I wonder if you'll I'll have, yeah, I do have enough to squeeze out and you'll see this. Now this one, yeah, kind of a clean scent too, but maybe you can see if this camera wants to work with me. It's like a clear gel, yes, but there are tiny little beads in here. Mm, you may not be able to see that. But I can feel it. And when you have a really good exfoliator, just side note, the beads or the granules should be like grains of sand in a sense, like small. Not these big, oversized, whatever. Though, in the exfoliating video, I am going to show you something that has kiwi seeds in it. I actually like it. But the kiwi seeds, if you've ever used kiwi seeds in other, because I think Mary Badesco asked, actually, why am I getting off to, sorry focus um so anyway this has small grains in it so it does give me a nice level of exfoliation uh, when I'm exfoliating my skin while cleansing using that product now if I am using an exfoliating cleanser I don't always use like one of these brushes or if I do I may use it on a low speed because I don't need that much exfoliation like I don't want to like <laughs> you know shred my skin not that this is to the level of like it feels like you would shred your skin but you know I just try to be careful with that you don't want to do too much especially like by the eye area and things like that but anyhow um, I feel like this has a much better level of exfoliation than I thought it would just because it's like from the body shop you don't have to buy it full price hello the Body Shop often has like a 40% off sale or some other big sale. And um, the Body Shop products are also now sold through Ulta. So you can get a discount there. And I've seen it on sale on the Ulta site already. Um, so this is good. Yeah, I like it. The Daily Glow Polishing Cleansing Polish. So do I feel like it gives me a glow? Slight glow. Scale the 1 to 10, 10 being my glowiest. I feel like this is a 7. It's a fair 7, which I think is good. Because especially if you're using other products that are trying to help you to get a glow, this pardon me this is a nice addition to the collection so I can definitely see myself purchasing this again on sale again because um you can get this for the low low when they're having like 40% off 50% off or more especially through the body shop so yeah I like this one um so that's another one that I like okay we're gonna we're, we're gonna talk about this uh new stuff Mayel Organics you know during Black Friday she released a skincare line um, and I did buy the kit because I didn't know that still within that kind of Black Friday Cyber Monday in that week that followed time frame that she would then release them individually where you could have selected what you wanted and at a lower price than the entire kit but that's neither here nor there let's just um focus on this anyhow <laughs> I've been using this product as well this is her two-in-one face scrub and cleanser and the, you get three ounces with this I'm going to tell you right now this is still on sale on her website it's been on sale since that whole Black Friday period um I, I will list down below whatever the regular price is supposed to be of this but my recommendation would be that she leave it at the price point that it's at right now um the sale price should be the regular price just my take on it not that this is bad it's not um and I'm gonna tell you the first time I use this because again it's a face scrub and cleanser I said is it really gonna uh have enough exfoliating power in here to be called a scrub let me show you this right now as soon as I used it and I used it before looking at like the full ingredient list maybe you can see there's some like little bumpy granules in here there's one okay but anyway I can feel that there are more in there as well and again small grains so that's a good thing um so I said to myself I said okay I'm using this on my face just even now as I'm rubbing it around my hand and it has a good level of exfoliation that I can apply to my skin especially as you apply pressure more and more pressure then you know it can feel even more abrasive on your skin the scent Yes, it smells like her pomegranate and honey line of the hair care items that she has. So, yes, it smells good. Um, let me tell you this. As soon as I used it, I said, oh, 
these grains, see when you know some of those products, I said this feels like it has like walnut shell extract in it. And what does it have? It has walnut shell flour. So that's like a part of that exfoliating power that she has. And if you've ever used a product that has the walnut shell flour or walnut shell like little extract pieces in there, you know that it can give you a nice, nice rub down scrub. Now the other thing that I'm going to show is I use just a little bit more. And the reason why I'm saying it would be great if she were to leave this entire line, everything, at its price point right now. For this, for example, three um, ounces. Now, I know for five ounces, I just said I paid 30-something bucks. And I would, you know, likely spend that again. So why shouldn't she raise this? Because I think her regular price on this was something like 17 or so. But I feel like this is the kind of thing that you could get or she could put in a target or um, something that can be easily grabbed by consumers not one of those online only purchases um, and I think if she's going to come I think this could really compete with drugstore level stuff for sure um, there are no the ingredients are very good right let's let's look at the ingredients what well, I'm not saying I don't want her to get her money I'm just saying I think more people would be drawn to this line if she were to keep the price point where it is because people would initially just come to it and say oh look at the price it's cheaper than you know like this Aveeno cleanser or it's the same price as the Aveeno one and it smells great let me try this oh the walnut shell flower really does exfoliate my skin this is great and she can like kill the game against some of them that are equally priced when we think about the, the sale price that she has them at so I think she could really kill in that market if you start upping the price because I, I, I don't the quality of this can beat some things that are sold at Sephora right but um, I don't want to say too, too too much but um, okay so this one is 36 and I still think this could be overpriced but what it does for me and how I feel I'm like yeah, this I still could use a cotton pad after and and see some residue. Not that it doesn't cleanse well, it does. It's a nice cleanser. I'm just saying, and there are times when I've also used it with this um Ulta brush to even get more, and then you will find fewer impurities and things left behind on the cotton pad afterwards. I think it's a good cleanser. I just think she could really kill if the price remains where it is, um, and you know, and for three ounces as well. And I know that's just two more ounces of Glam Glow One than this, um, and they have more than double <laughs> what. Her her uh, regular price of this is going to be and it's just for two more ounces of it but um I just feel the performance of that one to me at least feels a little better um but you know what what do I know what do I know um so anyway when I wash my face with this one the walnut shells definitely exfoliate my skin, but it feels like there's a, a almost a creaminess or a thing. I don't want to say a thing left behind, like a film, because it's definitely not on the level of that Glam Glow black one that I said I would never repurchase, and that Sephora one that um, I said leaves like this oily film. It's not on that level, but I think a person who has really dry skin, now you may want to be cautious of the walnut flower in, in this, walnut shell flower, but I think it could really help because I'm saying if you have super dry skin, you may not want that level of exfoliation. You may want something a bit more sensitive. But the fact that it leaves kind of a, not a film behind, but kind of a, a creamy something behind, then maybe, um, you know, this could be great for a person with dry skin. For a person like myself, I, I thought it was a fine cleanser. It's a good cleanser. Um, I do like the exfoliating properties of it more. I would have even loved it if maybe if this had not been sold as a two-in-one, maybe if she just creates an exfoliator boom, all on its own that makes use of this walnut uh, flower, walnut shell flower. I think that would be uh, great. I would be all over that. But as this being a two-in-one, I have already since repurchased it. Um, so I have a backup of this because I really, really wanted to um, test it. But I like it. It's good. It says it cleanses pores by removing dirt, oil, and impurities. So that's what it says on the label. It's good stuff. It's nice. I just appreciate the price point it's at now. So, uh, uh. And then I'm going to show you something else, which also leads me along that same line. Um, and let me get into it right now. As you may know, Camille Rose also has some skincare items for you. And I got them all. Some I got during Black Friday. And the only one that was completely sold out for Black Friday, which she, she didn't restock, as she said she would not. Um, and that's likely because they launched in Target, is the turmeric one. 
So I got that on the shelf on the ground in Target and the tum the turmeric, <laughs> I know some say turmeric, turmeric, um, this particular one it tells you on the front of the bar what box what each one is for and this one is to exfoliate your skin and this costs $8.99. So that's what I'm saying because I think this on sale was like $8 dollars and change and then this is eight dollars and change and I think this now I haven't been using this turmeric one specifically long enough because I just got it on the ground you would see on um Instagram whenever I posted this I just recently got this one and I shaved off some I'll show you what a full size bar actually looks like because I shaved off some I don't need to use the entire um bar oh no that one is shaved off too um, I don't need to use the entire bar all at once so I just shave off kind of what I need and leave that in the bathroom but I'm just going to show you like this is the full bar size and this is what I shaved off of my turmeric one okay so this particular one is to exfoliate now turmeric um, has many benefits people like to even ingest turmeric some people use it for cooking lots of things that it can be used for um, so there are some internal benefits if you're ingesting it um, this particular one is used for the face turmeric is also you may also see an overload because once the skincare or any of these industries see something that's kind of like popping like uh, it's kind of on the tips of everyone's tongue then they just want to include it no matter how little or how much of it they put in their product they just want to include I'm not saying that's what she's done I'm just saying that's what companies in the skincare realm I've noticed have been doing so even with turmeric um first aid beauty yeah um first yeah first aid that same company I'd shown before with the cleanser was it um uh, first yeah first aid beauty they released a uh ginger I think it was ginger and turmeric mask uh, it looks like a little jelly thing I haven't tried it yet um there's a turmeric based mask from Kiehl's so people are putting turmeric in stuff now for skincare but turmeric had long been noted for having um the ability to help people who have acne as well as acne scarring so this is uh, it lists on her box to help you exfoliate your skin but she has another bar over here and it says also for acne eczema and psoriasis so I've been using this and again not long enough the turmeric one to tell you if you know it really exfoliates my skin what I can tell you is that it lathers beautifully my skin doesn't feel all dried out after I use it and I like it. it's done nothing negative to me I want to use it consistently for a longer period of time before I can really speak to its benefits um, the rice brand is another one this one I did get for Black Friday so I've been using this one much longer you can see I already chopped off some of that product this particular one the rice brand bar is supposed to if that would focus it's supposed to brighten your skin so this particular one says on the back that of course it's supposed to remove dirt these are all cleansing bars so they should all be removing dirt but this one also says dead skin cells while preventing bruises and blackheads so that's what this one is for so if you feel oh and it says it also has nutrients in here that will help to moisturize and soften your skin she does not have a list of ingredients on these boxes and she recommends that you it just says for more information like go to her um, website so anyway, so I've been using the rice bran one and much like the turmeric one, it lathers like a dream. Um, it feels really good on my skin and no complaints. But, you know, I need to use it consistently for a longer period of time to see what it's really going to do. This Tamanu bar, come on, uh, it's supposed to balance your skin. And I'm going to tell you right now on the back of it, it says that um, you can also use it for your hair too to help strengthen your hair follicles uh, and to maintain uh, a radiant complexion year round for your face. This is also going to be used to gently exfoliate your skin, to moisturize, to smooth, to soften. There was something else I wanted to say about the, the rice brand one because that one says, oh yes, this is the one, the rice brand one, which claims that it will, and I'll show you on the back, brighten Right, so it can be used by brightening your dark spots um, around the eyes. It says um, cleansing bar can help even skin tones by brightening dark spots around the eyes. So, and then it says knees and elbows. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, and then the thing about black has that I mentioned previously. So, you know, we'll see. Now, turmeric, as I mentioned, is supposed to help with um, scarring um, that you may have after acne um the tamanu is supposed to balance your skin i haven't used that one at all i haven't even cut it 
a portion of it to even sample it because again I was using the rice brand and then later the turmeric one but so far so good I think I like what it's trying to do so again because that price point is $8.99 and again it hasn't done anything negative to my skin it's still snowing it's just looking outside hasn't done anything negative to my skin I could see myself buying that again if I use it long term and I see that it actually does balance my skin or the other one brighten it or help to exfoliate it I could see myself just continuing to purchase it over and over again so when you compare that to um um, this which if the original price it goes back to I, I don't know that I would be running necessarily for that one but um, it's good too I'm not I'm not slamming my out it smells good and the exfoliating power of it is quite nice um, it's just you know everyone's skin is not going to feel the same towards different products um, and this is the last one this is also from Neogen right this is their Canadian clay pore cleanser now this is a two-in-one this can actually be used as a mask and as a cleanser so in this particular video since, since I'm discussing cleansers I am going to talk to you about this being a cleanser and I'm just going to show you it has this little lid in here because it is a bubbling mask and uh, once the oxygen hits it and you let it sit on your face it will want to start bubbling so you need to make sure that you secure that and I'm going to show you this is what I have left of it it is indeed a clay. Okay, so let me just cover this back up and seal it so I can continue on talking about this product. I'm going to tell you right now, I prefer it more as a mask than as a cleanser. Because I feel as a cleanser, um, it definitely leaves more dirt <laughs> behind on my face. I like when my face is totally uh, well cleansed. Uh, let's see if the oxygen will start hitting it and it'll start foaming up for you in a sec. But um, I do like when my face is totally cleansed. Then I leave this on. I think they recommend like five minutes or so. And then it starts like bubbling and you wash it off and my face feels clean and good. But that's after my face has been like totally cleansed already. Um, just using this as a cleanser. Um, again, I felt like it didn't go deep enough into my skin to really remove impurities. I see it little, little, little bit like it's trying to raise up and show you that the oxygen is hit it so it's going to start foaming soon but um yeah so that one as a cleanser I wouldn't purchase it as a cleanser but if you're interested in using it as a mask especially if you're into or, or looking to try one of those like uh, bubbling masks and you may want to do it just as it's sitting out on my hand right now I feel the cooling sensation this has a super long ingredient list it's like it has everything in the world in it but the first one is water and then it has kaolin clay which you know get those impurities out um there we go i can i can feel it cooling um it has lots of lots of extracts let, let me just look look at that look at this ingredient list i mean okay i, I don't it's so tiny i don't even know if you can see everything that <laughs> that's in there but it has a lot of stuff. And then the glare, sorry, you may not be able to see absolutely everything, but um, it has lots of extracts. I can feel like this clay is actually, it feels like it's drying on my hand. Why is it doing that? It may be hard to see, but mm, like that little thing raised right there, mm, it is starting to like do its thing but it's not reaching like full-on bubble state lid but yeah as a cleanser it wasn't my jam but as a mask it's fine it's cool not something that I'm going to be repurchasing as a mask though I think I have far better masks um, but yeah so this is kind of the skincare thing that I've been the things that I've been focusing on and using uh, for skincare really and 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 I would be remiss if I did not mention um, just pure black soap. Um, so yeah, so I use that on occasion too. But I sometimes I can't use, especially if it's a quality, really pure black soap, I can't use it every single day because then my skin will become too sensitive to it and it will start to like almost dry it too much so um so I can't use it like day and night every single day not a pure black soap I can't so my skin you know it does have its limitations <laughs> and and that's that's one but I do like black soap like I feel that it really does help to remove any dark spots or anything like that that you may have on your skin um so yeah so that's it for the skincare cleanser portion of this skincare video and thank you so much for watching please let me know what skincare you have been using for cleansing the face I'm super interested thank you so much bye